Hi there, welcome back to the new video and in this video we will going to talk about ClickSense quarter start and quarter end function. So these are again date manipulate related to date manipulations. Say for example you are at uh, 15th of February and you want to look at uh, what is the start date or what is the end date and how many days have passed from the quarter start and how many days are still remaining for the quarter end. So things like that, if you need to do uh, these sort of calculation, then you will going to use the quarter start and quarter end function. So let's see within the script how we can do this calculation of quarter start and quarter end. So over here, we have a very simple dummy data set for the invoice state. And uh, for these invoice states, we will going to calc the figure out the their respective quarter start and quarter end and before I move ahead this quarter start and quarter end is not related to like your financial period but related to the calendar period so calendar as per the calendar quarter start is on the 1st of Jan which is the quarter one and ending on the 31st of March and so on and so forth for rest of the quarters um, so how we can do that um, we can say quarter start underscore end and then we will load star that means all of the values of this table load star comma um, the function name quarter start all right so quarter start and then specify the inv date and zero indicates that in the current time period one will indicate in the next time period minus one will indicate the previous time period and so on and so forth and we need to give it a name as quarter start date comma we will also create the quarter end date so quarter end is also pretty similar we need to specify the date and uh, specify the period again specifying the current period and just reminding you that minus one indicates the previous period and plus one indicates the one period and so on and so forth for the rest of the number like minus one minus two minus three and things like that and we will see one demonstration of that as quarter and date we will use the resident keyword to reference this table because we are using its um using its columns okay so now we can since all of the columns of this table is in this particular table so we don't need temp table so we will going to drop it so drop table temp table semicolon and save it and load it close come to analysis um table Add dimension invoice date which is our original date and then we have add column then dimension which is quarter end date and add one more dimension which is quarter start date so now if you see for 28th of March 2012 the start date is 1st of January 2012 and 31st of March so once you have these two dates, then whatever calculation you may want to do based on the num number of days uh, that has spent in the quarter or number of days which are remaining or any other calculation which is based on the quarter information, then you can go ahead and do this with the help of the these two functions. Now, very quickly, we will look at uh, the minus one or plus one. So minus one, as I said, will going to reference the previous period and one will going to indicate the next period or uh, based on the date that we have specified so let's look at how does this uh, make the change so minus one plus one minus one has been indicated in the quarter start function and plus one indicated in the quarter end function so let's load this close come to analysis now the same function if you see um, quarter end since plus one is there it is moved to a next quarter right it's june over here so first quarter is jan feb march second quarter is april may june so the end date is 30th of june similarly for 28th of march 
the date is moved to the previous quarter which is october november december for the last year so 2011 is coming and the first of october as a date which is coming so that's what it really indicates and uh, helps you move back and forth if you really need to do this for the purpose of your metric calculation or the kpi calculation or the chart calculation so that's about how you can do this or how you can uh, calculate these quarter related uh, date calculation and i hope you will utilize this in your dashboard so that's about it and i will meet you in the new video with the new topic